Hey guys, Ace is here for NapoleonMarketing.com and uh, so I want to talk to you guys about the second installment now of how to create a blog and make some money with it. Um, but before we can make some money we need to have a blog. So we talked about the hosting and we talked about the domain name in terms of uh, WordPress. We talked about, I mean sorry not WordPress, um, for your website, right? So we talked about uh, getting it through GoDaddy if you, that's where you chose to get your domain name uh, as well as using Bluehost uh, maybe for hosting. Um, that's really how I have set my website set up. And once you've gone through that, uh, that installation and purchasing process, um, you'll now have your website. Um, now, a question that I do get sometimes is, you know, do I really need to buy a domain name? Do I really need to, you know, purchase hosting? There are free options for you to blog. For example, things like Blogger.com, um, and um, if you want to use those websites, they're basically pre-made. You have very, very little options in terms of how you want your website to look. Um, your, your, your domain name will never be really customizable. It'll always be, for example, something like, um, let's say if you're, we were using that example we were talking about before, um, Guarding with Samantha, then you, your blog would be guardingwithsamantha.blogger.com right? Um, you'll just have that extra .blogger.com at the end of your website. So you'll never be able to really customize it as just guardingwithsamantha.com. And so um, it just doesn't look professional. And if you're looking to make money with this, right, you want to have it, a legit website. And if you ask me, $12 for a year is not a crazy amount to pay for you to have your own website name, right? Um, in terms of the hosting, um, the hosting works a lot better. It'll be a lot quicker, a lot more reliable if you have your own hosting as well versus using a free website like Blogger. Um, and so what I would do is I would just invest the the money to kind of get yourself going, right? Especially if you're looking to make this like a long-term thing and you want to actually make income with it, then I would definitely suggest you doing it like that. Now, the next thing that I want to talk about now is once you've had that installed, we talked about getting WordPress installed onto your website, which is basically the login I have right now. But um, just to show you really quickly, um, regardless of whether you, you use Bluehost, whether you use something else, I'm going to use an old domain name that I actually had. So I'm going to just log into this old one here. Um, I was using these guys, but these guys are kind of smaller games. So um, for bigger traffic and stuff like that, I didn't want to use these guys, which is why I switched to Bluehost and um, <clears throat> GoDaddy was already my website. But you all have will have uh, a login like this, which is called your control panel or your C panel. And it um, doesn't matter whether you're with Bluehost or anybody else, you're going to have like a back office that looks something similar to this. You have a whole bunch of different little websites and links and digit and widgets and stuff that you, you can um, click onto. I know it's a lot more complicated than it. It's actually a lot less complicated than it looks, guys. All you really need to know is that you need to have this installed, which is WordPress, the WordPress script. Okay. Once you click on your WordPress um, script, sometimes it'll already come installed for you, so you won't even have to do anything. But in case you it's not installed, just go to the back office, go down to the WordPress script, and just uh, make sure that you click on install. Right, you'll install and it'll do it for you. So what'll happen though is once you have that set up, right, it'll give you a link kind of like this one, where it says, hey, if you want to create your website, click on this what link right here. So my website that I'm going to show you is Retire with Aces. It's a website that I used to use way back in when. Um, so um, I'm not using it anymore. So I want to show you how you can create your blog with it. If you were to go to Retire Web, uh, sorry, Retire with Aces right now, um, it's a completely different website. All right, so let's check that out. Um, Retire with Aces, right? It's this thing here. All right, so it looks like a um, like a like a web page, right? It looks more of like a web page. That's what it was used for. It was more of like an info page. But um, I'm now going to change it to make it look like a blog. So that's what this link is here, right? Um, that's what we're going to use for. So if you go to your your hyperlink here, as you can see, mine says retirewithaces.com slash WP. Um, yours may be WP-admin or just slash admin, whatever it is. It'll basically take you to this back panel here, okay? So what you're going to do here, guys, is you're just going to um, obviously log in to your um, web page, and it's going to look like this. So this is your dashboard. This is for WordPress. So this is where you actually do pretty much everything on your website. This is how you create your website. Okay. So this is going to be the basically the meat and potatoes of what we're going to be talking about. So today, what I'm going to show you, or right now in this video rather, is I want to show you how you can actually um, make your website look the way you want it to look. So right now, this is going to be very very blank. Um, if I were to go, um, I want to show you what it would look like right now. Um, if I were to go to appearance and under themes, I'll click on that, 
and it'll show you what is actually active right now. So right now, if I were to publish from this website, um, and publish publishing your website means actually posting it onto the internet. So basically saving it onto a onto their hard drive and putting it out onto the internet so people can see. Um, it'll uh, so just like I told you, if you create a website, I mean sorry, if you create a file and you save it, you save it somewhere on your hard drive, right? So when you click on publish your website on WordPress, essentially it's the same idea. It just basically means you're saving your website onto the hard drive of Bluehost or GoDaddy, um, and then it'll be available for other people to see, right? By them clicking whatever your website is. So in my case, retirewithaces.com. So let's go here, guys. Um, as you can see, there's a few themes here um, that are free, um, and these actually are pretty good. Um, I wouldn't suggest going anything too crazy, especially if you're getting started. You can add new themes if you just click on it, click add new themes here, and it'll give you option of maybe some other um, free things that you can that you can find. You can buy and purchase WordPress themes as well if you don't want to take the time to, you know, design it or put it in together yourself. Um, but uh, like I said, if if you're just getting started, I would just get started with the first with the first ones um, that are already on there for you because it'll be the easiest thing for you to do. So currently, this is the one that'll be active. Okay, the, uh, the 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 theme is called 2015. They have 2014 and 2013. These are obviously designs that they created as per the year. Um, I like the 2015 just because it actually looks kind of like a blog. So what I'm going to do is uh, you can click on customize. And then you can actually modify a few of the different things that you want to. So, um, for example, um, I'm gonna click on this. Okay, so you can actually change, let's say, like the the um, just the layout of how you want things to look. Um, in this case, this is very straightforward. Um, so it's very very plain Jane. Um, there isn't too much to to see here. Um, so you can change like a background image for for it if you want. Um, let's say this. Let's pick a random image. Select an image. Uh, let's check their media library. Oh, they don't have anything. Okay. So it's going to ask you to upload a file. So this is upload a random file. Maybe I can find here on my website. Oh, sorry, on my computer. Okay, cool. Let's use this. Okay, so it's a picture of a quote. Put open. And I can select this image. So as you can see, I basically selected this from my web from my hard drive rather um, I'm clicked on this guy here and then I clicked on choose image so now I have that image as the background of to my website okay obviously this is a small image so it's like cutting it off into like multiple multiple things and the, so the background repeat you can click on tile which is exactly what it's doing here I'm gonna say no repeat so it's gonna have just the one website um, so just the one image um, I'm going to center it, so it, nope, it doesn't look that good. Maybe center it to the right, so that way you can actually see the image there. Okay, and the background attachment, so you can have it fixed, meaning like the image in the background is going to be static, or you can get it to scroll. So when you scroll up and down, it's going to scroll with you, so the image doesn't change. And as you can see, you can modify this in multiple different ways, right? Um, you can have a bigger image, um, or you can just leave it blank if you wanted to, if you don't. Right, so I'm going to remove the image, and you can just keep a white background if you want to. Right, keep it nice and plain. Um, so you can play around with this a little bit, guys. So you can find how it is that you want it to look. Um, so I'm going to go back here. Um, what other things can we change here? We can also change the colors, right? So we can change the color of what we want. Um, the the heading colors, as you can as you can see. See, I can change the different different texts for the menus on the left side. Um, so let's see, let's make it red just for fun. Um, okay, cool. And then then we have the background color. We can change the background color if you just want to have a solid background color. So in this case, let's make it mm, blue. Okay, so we have a blue background now with the red letters. Um, and then the white text. Um, and then we can, again, fool around with it. They, they, again, we're just, we're just changing minute things. The main theme is basically how this whole layout kind of looks, right, guys? Um, let's see what else we can change here. We can change the the menus. Um, so the menu location, we can have them. Um, let's see. You think contains two menu locations? Select the menu appearance that you want. Okay. Uh, 
primary look primary menu social menu we actually only have the one menu here so I'm gonna leave this as is because we don't have actual content to change this around but uh, that'll be for a future video guys so keep <laughs> keep tuned for that um, so menu locations is something you can do widgets again is if you have widgets a widget essentially guys is um, like linked like you have sure if you've been to to certain websites there is link outs um, so if you go to my website, let's go to my website just so I can show you what I'm talking about. It makes it easier for you to see. So netplaymarketing.com, this is my website, right? Um, if you've been on it, awesome. If you haven't, that's okay. Um, but if you can see, I have certain little widgets um, on my th on my website. So for example, these guys, these guys are widgets. Okay, so a YouTube widget, uh, one for my Twitter, one for my Google+, Plus, one for my Facebook. Um, so you guys, people can access these and, you know, reach out to me. So those things would be considered widgets. So obviously I have mine on the right side column here, right? Um, in this case, um, I don't really have any widgets for me to show you. I just wanted to show you what a widget would look like. And static front page. So here you can pick what content you want to be on your front page. So you can have a static front page, which means that there will be a given web page that will always be the front page. So for example, for me guys, um, I have this here. This is a static web page. Doesn't matter how, when you log onto my website, this section here of my website is always here. So this will be considered a static web page. Um, and then they give you the option of having your latest post. So the latest post would be basically the last the the first sorry the last blog post that you posted so for me for me for example it's right here the five steps to converting a lead into a customer that is the the link that I had that's the last blog post I posted it was a really long one as you can see and then this is the second next one um, that I posted stages of entrepreneurship so I have a mixture of both of those but this is a completely different theme um, but for you guys you can it's this this basic blog post here you can literally do that. Um, yourself. So you can either have the most recent blog post posted on the front or you can do the option of um, having just a given post always here. Like you could be like, welcome to my website. Thanks for, you know, dropping by. Um, you know, I love the fact that you guys are reading my page. I hope you this inspires you or you hope you guys find some valuable information on my website. Uh, make sure to subscribe to my email um, list to get all the up to date um, posts for my website and check this out so that could be like an intro page for example and you may want to keep that on the front page right because no one's gonna see it if it's on page 26 of your website so hope that makes sense to you guys um, so that's just some of the basic things that you can actually change around on your website so right now let's go and just click save and publish okay saved awesome so that means that what I Remember what I said, when I say publish, publish means it's now posted to the world. So now th when I go to um, retirewithaces.com, this is what's going to appear on my website. Um, let's see if we can get that to happen. I might have to delete my cache because it's going to try and do show me what I had before. So let's do this real quickly. Where's my history? Chrome. Clear browsing data. There we go. For the past day. It. Awesome. So now let's try going on to retire with aces. Retire with aces.com. Oh no, it's okay. So this is still clearly saved still. Whoops. It's still clearly saved here. Um, but if you give it a few minutes, this website that I just whoa, I've been expired. The uh, session that I that I just saved, guys, which is this. I can't remember my password. Um, this will now appear on my website in a few minutes. Sometimes it takes a few minutes, so don't freak out if it doesn't change your way like right away. Um, sometimes it takes a few minutes, five, ten minutes. I've had it even take up to an hour before, um, especially if it's the first time you're publishing your website. Um, but after that, it should change pretty, pretty quickly for you. But in any case, um, so we're gonna get out of here. And those, that's how you can basically change some of the main little things on um, your actual website, guys. So um, if you want to change the theme altogether, again, you can. Um, you can find different themes. You can download themes. Um, but the good thing about these themes, though, guys, is that these ones are actually made by WordPress. And because they're made by WordPress, they're, they're a little bit easier for Google or YouTube to, to rank on their website. So like, say, if you do a Google search for a blog post that you have it works better with themes that are made by WordPress um, so if you are wanting to rank your your 
content, meaning you want people to actually find it via um, Google and stuff like that, I would suggest using a well-known theme. And so it doesn't get much more well-known, well uh, better known, sorry, than a created by actual WordPress. Okay. Um, we're going to talk about, let's see, what other things can we do here. We're also able to customize um, other things, like I said, like remember we said we, we have widgets. We can add widgets to this. So there's this widget menu here where you can add um, the links like the one that I showed you. Okay, guys, um, this is going to be more of an advanced thing. So I'm going to show you this in another video because it's going to get a lot, a, a lot more complicating <laughs> with the little things like that. But the main thing is that is that your your website is now posted and you have changed the main thing, which is the the theme, right? And to change it the way that you want to. Um, before I get into like customizing widgets and customizing all those little things, which aren't as complicated as I'm probably making it seem. Um, I'm going to make it into another video so this one doesn't run too long. So hopefully now at this point you've learned how to log into your WordPress, you've learned how to um, kind of modify your themes um, so that it looks the way that you want to. Um, and in the next video we're going to talk a little bit more about how to actually post a blog post. Alright, so we'll talk then guys. Take care.